Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the installation of Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, to install Android Pi on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, you need TWRP recovery. And also, all of the files which are needed to boot Pi on your device will be in the description. So all of the links are present, you can go. Sometimes I can give that Google Drive links also if possible. So yeah, everything's there. Now just put your device into TWRP recovery mode by pressing the volume up and the power button at the same time. Now you just need to go to the wipe section, advance and wipe dialv cache, data, system and vendor. Swipe back, go back, go to install. Now this is the main stuff. Uh, you have to uh, like, you have to get all of the files which you need. So first you need to flash the treble zip. So yeah, it's flashing the treble zip. So guys, the treble vendor has been flashed successfully. Now you need to go to install, install image and click on the PPR1 which is the Android Pi image and swipe to confirm flash uh, and you need to select the system image like I selected. So let this uh, get flashed. After the image has been flashed, just go back, go to install. Now you don't need to mount vendor. If it's already mounted, just unmount and mount again. Then go to install and flash the post 3 GSI. You also need to flash the uh, camera to API if you want to use Gcam, then the Gcam fix. The overlay is fixed. Also, if you want Magisk, you can just flash it. So I'm going to flash Magisk as I need it. Magisk has been flashed, guys. Let's go back and reboot system. Or you can use also that reboot system option. And now you'll see MI logo and you will get the Google boot animation which is a pixel P boot animation. It says the same old Oreo boot animation not changed. So let's wait until it comes. Oh, it's taking a lot of time. But still you can wait. Yeah, now the boot animation will start. Let's wait. And here it is the Google pixel boot animation. It's not the yeah you can see the size is not because it showed here powered by android and yes uh, so it means the p will be boot android pi will be booting in a few minutes so yeah let's skip this and i will meet you at the setup point like afterwards and guys the device just booted up and let me show you the like about phone so and yeah i just disabled the adaptive brightness because it was just like increasing decreasing uh, because of the lights and yes android p uh yeah you can play with it and guys now setting it up because like at first many of the apps won't work because of the google play services let's open file manager and yes just keep uh, closing and opening it until it shows its ui the actual content inside so yeah let's close open i had to do it a lot of times so uh, let's you also do it if you have this face this problem just open and close until you like get the original content inside. So guys the file manager is finally opened for me like it was not even opening. It was not showing the content. Now it's showing so just install this uh, Google services APK. Uh, yeah all of the links will be in the description below so don't uh, worry about it. And yeah if possible I will give Google Drive links so that you guys can download it quickly. Uh, so yeah installing the Google Play services. It's done and now let's install the digital well-being uh, which is exclusive to Android Pi or Android 9.0 so let it get installed. This will install quickly because it's a small app. Uh, let's see. Yeah done. Uh, now you just need to reboot it but with reboot we will also install Magisk because it failed the last time we installed it. But it didn't work. So let's again boot into the twerp recovery mode. Under a TWRP, go to install, check Magisk, reboot after installation is complete. Magisk installation is done. Now device will reboot. 
Now let's wait till it boots back into Pi. So guys, after booting, uh, as you can see, we have got Magisk, and yeah, uh, okay. Also, let me show you how to enable uh, Geo SIM card because it is disable at first because of the voltage and all. So going to network, mobile in network. Okay, check this. Change to LTE and go to access point names uh, okay so my VPN is already set oh sorry APN is already set you can see if you haven't uh, your device hasn't set the APN automatically so this is how to set it APN GeoNet and Geo 4G name or whatever you want and you can see now HD device is HD capable it means VLT calls are also possible so let me uh, tell you uh, So yeah, VRT calls are also working. Yeah, this is how to do it. Now guys, we have installed a digital well-being and you can find it in the settings. And yeah, it shows a graph of all of your apps. Also it shows these tabs of your unlocks and notification. We have this dashboard wind down. I can click next. We have this grayscale and do not disturb at the same time. So you can set it at start and end time. It's just us like improve your user experience we have managed notifications which take you to those respective settings and also do not disturb mode yeah it's all same it's just uh, like this is a good thing in android pi you can track your analysis the apps analysis how much uh, time it's like what app exactly uses the most of the time and also your unlock so you can keep a habit of your device so guys let me show you the safety net uh, no thanks uh, installed version okay so you can see tap to start safety net check and it passes uh, because I have already installed this uh, response okay so you can see CTS profile true and basic integrity also too so safety net check is success so you can install your apps banking apps it's totally safe and yeah this is how to install Android Pi or Android 9.0 Pi on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, the dual cam variant. And if you guys have liked this video, then please like this video. And if you don't, dislike and also show the feedback down in the comment section. Till then, enjoy Pi and bye bye. Subscribe, please. Bye bye.